we're here in San Francisco. I'm with Julie Matthews. Julie is a certified nutrition specialist, consultant, and a specialist in autism, so we're very lucky to have her. Today, we are going to make burgers with liver. Now, Julie, we have a bit of an issue there because yes. when, when you mention liver, people say, yuck, yes. they won't touch it. Yes, absolutely. And uh, it's often the parents in the audience that are the first to turn their noses up. So it's not just picky eaters. It's most people that have some challenges with liver. So, so and what kind of liver, liver are you recommending that we use? Well, these are organic chicken livers. I usually like to get some good grass-fed liver. It can be beef or whatever you want, chicken, uh, whatever kind, but ideally grass-fed or pastured or organic. Okay, and, and, and you think this is good? This is what we should be putting in our children and actually in ourselves? Yes, yes. So people often say, well, why would I eat liver? Liver is the organ that filters the toxins out. Well, that's true, but the liver has hundreds of different functions, and the liver stores all the nutrients that it needs to do all of those functions. Well, many of those nutrients it needs, it stores them right in the liver itself. So the liver is packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, packed with folic acid and B12 and iron and zinc and all sorts of things that kids need. And so they really have a lot of nutritional benefit. And if it's a healthy raised animal, it's not going to be clogged and loaded with toxins. Mm. It's going to detoxify anything that comes through and have all those great nutrients on hand. And I'm also sort of in the olden days, if you like. I mean, my grandmother, and in fact, when I was a child, we had liver quite often because it was considered extremely good for you. Absolutely. We're, I think we're sort of going back to some of the, that understanding Basics. that we knew. In fact, the, the meat is grass-fed beef, the way that your grandmother would have had the animal raised to begin with, where you're getting lots of good nutritional value in that meat. But how easy is it to get grass-fed meat? Because I don't think it's that easy in, in England to get grass-fed meat. In the U.S. it's actually much, much easier. You can go to most good health food markets. Right. You can get it right there. You also, even some of the other uh, markets have it either frozen or you can get it fresh at the farmer's market. You can even have it shipped across the country frozen. So it's actually fairly easy to find it, but you have to do a little bit of detective work. Sometimes. Okay, so in this recipe we have got, we've got the liver, chicken liver, and we've got this grass-fed meat. We have got, I can see, um, your salts that you like so yes. much. And we have this, what's this? This is, this is onion powder. And I, you know, for kids that they don't want to be picking big chunks of things out, yep. make it nice and easy, they can't see. It's the concept of uh, livers, liver and onions, that kind of flavor combination, uh -huh. but without any kind of chunks of things. So this is basically the recipe. This is it. It's really, really okay. simple. If you wanted, you could add a variety of different purees. So I like to, you can make, firstly, you can make bean, um, sorry, you could make beef patties. You could make meatballs. So you can make meat patties, meatballs, meatloaf. Okay. You can make any shape you'd like. And you can make it just plain, or you can add a variety of vegetables to it. Okay, let's get going. So what's the All first right. thing we have to so do? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pulse our liver in the food processor to get it pureed to a fine smooth puree so there's no chunks of liver that might be a problem for anybody. Okay, so in goes the chicken liver. Yes, we're going to throw I mean, some of these in. It doesn't look very nice, that's the problem. It, it, you know? do, it does quite off-putting to look at it. But. And it's got a strong smell to it, so you just need to sort of be aware and while okay, you're cooking. Okay, so we're going we're to give this a good, give it a good. pulsing. That's good. Okay. okay. So you'll see there is smooth liver texture. There is nothing in here that somebody's accidentally going to find or be able to pick out of their burger. It looks like bolognese sauce. Yeah, it, it sort of does. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure out now a couple ounces. Now what I've found is that somewhere between two and four ounces of liver per pound of meat is the ballpark. Okay. Two ounces if you really don't want it to have much taste, four ounces if you really want to pack it with liver, much more than that, and your whole family is going to really notice it. This way, we kind of snuck in there and they won't realize what, what's in there. So I'm just going to weigh out maybe two to three ounces. This is clever, the scales you've got there. Yeah. Yes, it's great. It just, it allows me to weigh things in a variety of different ways and makes it easy. Let's see. Let's, uh, maybe we can pop that off. And I'll... Uh, it's actually amazing how that can puree down to something. Isn't it doesn't it? look anything like your I know. stringy stuff you put in. Exactly. Start with. So let's put 
put, let's see, if you find any stringy piece, just keep it aside. Okay, and then we should be pretty good. We're gonna do, let's do two and a half ounces of liver for that. Okay. And we're gonna add it to our So beef. it's really not very much you're putting no. in this. It's not, it's no. not a big deal, okay. No, so for, so maybe if you're doing a pound and you put in, uh, you know, a few ounces, it's really not that overpowering. In fact, we're trying to, I like to make it so that it enhances the flavor, but doesn't offend anybody. And in fact, you would be surprised that I have never had a child not like these. In fact, it's often people's very favorite burger recipe. I mean, I've had so really? many kids say, these are the best burgers you've ever made, mom. They love them. They don't not, they don't dislike them. They love them over okay, the Okay, well, this is something we've got to so, try them. Yeah, go. we gotta, we gotta do this. So then we're gonna, I'm gonna mix Mash all, all this up. up. And let's put a little bit of um, the onion powder in. And so a how little, much are you recommending? A good pinch? Um, you can probably toss that whole thing in there if you want. Okay, so there's yeah. probably about a T teaspoon, teaspoon yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. A pinch of salt. That would be great. And we'll put a little pinch of pepper. And then we'll mix that up. So the salt and the pepper and the onion powder you don't have to put in if you don't want to. It just helps add to the... Yeah, it just adds some flavor. And if I'm... You can even make sausages for breakfast with things like this, and then in that case, I definitely like a little bit of salt to give it a, yep. a little bit of uh, extra. It's interesting because so many people, I, when I, I'm, I love salt. Me too. And people say, oh, you shouldn't have so much salt. It's bad for you. It means you've got high stress adrenal glands. I don't know, right, but I, right. I love it. Right, right. Well, some of us do need it more than others, and I think salt is really actually misunderstood. If you're gonna be using really poor quality salt that is really stripped of any nutrients, and then you're gonna eat it with potato chips in huge quantities, yeah, yes, yeah, then okay. we're not. Well, we're adding small, tiny amounts. And of healthy salt. Of this healthy, is our healthy salt. salt. <laughs> Compared to what you would get in all of that junk food or a fast food restaurant, uh -huh. it's nothing. Right? Really. So, all right, okay. so now we got our burger. Simple, right? We're going to form it into a patty. I've got my heat going over there. So, we, the, the, the oil's been heating, so we've got nice hot oil for this. Yes, we do. And then we're going to make ourselves a burger. And then we're just going to cook it up. You're going to put a couple in? And then... So you've, you've patted that to quite a flat patty, not, yeah. not a big, thick, you bulbous can do, one. You can do however you like it. But do you think these, these should be generally cooked quite well done? What's the whole thing on this rare, medium, yeah. rare? I you like know, rare meat. Yeah, yeah. If I'm going to make a steak, I definitely would do it rare. But if, and if I'm going to do something grass-fed, I'd be more likely to do it that way. But if I'm going to be using all of this stuff, sometimes I will cook it all the way through. It's just really a personal preference. Probably for our children, it's better to cook it all the way through, isn't it? It probably is for something like this, um, especially if you don't really know where your meat is, you know, if you don't feel great about it. But, um, yeah, I think it's just a bit of however you'd like it, however you like to do it, and how your kids like it as well. I mean, I think grass-fed meat... It smells good. It's delicious. It does yeah. smell good. And that's, kids love that kind of burgery smell. Yes. So and you good. can put these on the grill. You, you can do them however you would do burgers. So... Okay, so these are now going to cook for 10 minutes. About, about that. We'll see how they're coming along. We'll flip them over. Um, maybe five to seven minutes on each side or something, depending. They look good. Yeah. Smelling good. They're, I mean, they're definitely well cooked. It really just depends. But you'll see. Nice. Try that. And actually, um, you could get a gluten-free bun and make that into a proper burger. New Life do gluten-free buns, don't they? There's a, there are definitely some great buns that you can do and do that. Okay, let's taste this thing. That's great. Do you taste the liver? I, I always put something hot in my mouth, I can't speak at all. No, I don't taste the liver at all. Yeah. That tastes absolutely delicious. So, much they just have a, more. Yeah, they it's have really a, nice. Don't they have a nice smell when they're cooking too? They don't have that overpowering liver smell or anything. No, this is Your good. Your family would not know it's in there. So, these are burgers with liver in. 
You can actually make them into a proper burger for a child that likes to be like all the other children. Absolutely. Like going to New Life and looking for their gluten-free buns, their mm -hmm. bread rolls. Mm -hmm. Good. Who ever would have thought that burgers with liver in could be like this? So if you want to get this recipe, don't forget to go to Julie's website and get her book and, and it'll all be written in there. We'll, we'll also put these up on our website as well. Thank you so much. That's all we've got time for this week. Next week, we'll be back with Doreen and Shannon and Julie again. So we'll see you then.